hubby went out to uh, check on the chickens and fill water and he told me to come out with the camera should I should I look should we look in the nesting box I'd start there you start there yeah there we go whoops we turned around all right so February 5th yep first egg of 2023 should I look somewhere else or is that the only one you found no that's the only one okay all right we're back in eggs all right welcome to the inside of the chicken coop um this is fairly small it's just enough space for them to roost at night and to lay their eggs so today we got our first egg um so we need to fix a problem that we meant to kind of take care of earlier but we didn't get to so right here i'm going to zoom out as much as i can here so here are the roosts um, we have deep bedding in the bottom here and then this is the opening that leads over to our nesting box. Um, now we just put this in kind of the end of January in anticipation of getting eggs again, but the chickens have been roosting right here on this ledge. Um, we meant to get something set up earlier. We didn't get it done. So what we want to do is get something that can kind of be a door for right here so that we can close it off at night so they can't roost up here and they can't poop in the nesting box. And, but something that we can open in the morning so they can get in there to lay their eggs. So that's the task for the moment. So this is a fairly challenging space to uh, video in. We're going to use these are like panels for like a dog pen um, that are separate. Um, I'm going to put a couple screws in up here to hang that on, and then that can kind of hinge up. So we can just hinge it up and hook it with a bungee cord to open that space up, and we can unhook it and drop it down to keep the chickens out of it at night. So that's the plan. I can do it. Thanks for the faith, babe. Thanks for the faith. Perfectly, babe. Don't don't worry. But I'm just seeing if I can kind of. There we go. Like just something that gives it a little bit of keeps it from like possibly sliding off without a lot of hoopla. I've had this since I was 24. 
25. This is 20 years. You got last year. What? Last year, yes. Right answer, baby. Right answer. I did it. 20, good lord, 25 a long time ago. Sure was. I didn't even know you. That's true. More importantly, I didn't know you. <laughs> I believe that somebody told me if I would have met you earlier in life that I wouldn't have liked you. No one did. I believe that someone was you. Screws in. All right. So the plan is handy dandy bungee right there. And then let's. Goldie is yelling at me. All right. So literally, this is like not a very big space to work in. But so here is our now door that keeps the chickens out. Um, and then here, I just put a screw up here with a bungee cord on it. And the plan is, let me see if I can, that this is just going to come up. And then I'm going to bring the bungee over, hook on the side. And now, so there's the nesting area. There's that little door. There is our high quality, extremely expensive, very, I don't know. Give me a word. What are we talking about? How brilliant our setup is in here for our high tech setup for our door. No words? That's how high tech it is. There's... There hasn't been a word in the English to do what it is that we did. That's the one. All right. So, hopefully nothing breaks or slips off, which I'm actually seeing. Oh. <laughs> so I want to find a better way to keep that bungee on. Why don't we get one of the hooks? I, we could. I was going low tech and what was right there, but probably should. Do you have one? You're going to go to hook. Okay. So we're going to go get a hook. We're going to put a hook there so that the bungee won't come off and do that. Because we just want to make sure that when we the nesting box is supposed to be open so they can lay their eggs, that it in fact is. All right. So I'm just going to show you the mess that they have made out of their nesting box just in the, not even a full week since we've had it here, um, which is why we need to keep them out of it um, at night so they're not pooping in it. And then I'm going to dump it out and put some fresh shavings in it so they have a nice clean nesting box to lay in. So this is so there is a ton of manure right through here um, which they're nesting on right here their butts going this way they actually drop about half their manure load at night so there's a lot of manure they've dropped in here and I'd rather it drop down in there in the leaf deep bedding that I have that's intended for all of those droppings. So we're gonna dump this out. I'm gonna dump it right in the run with them because then they can mix this manure and the hay in with the other leaves for compost. Um, and then we'll make this a nice clean, nice fresh space for them to lay their eggs in. Ladies. So Luke's gonna change the screw out for me. You want the screw out or you just want me to screw this in? Whichever feels right. I trust your judgment. Right, bro. <laughs> so Luke found a hook. I didn't take the time to find a hook. I was hoping just a screw would work. It did not. The hook should. Observe the concentration. Um, so this was the first chicken coop we purchased um, and we kind of got our chickens kind of at the spur of the moment. Um, a friend of Luke's said, hey, I have a bunch of chickens. Do you want some? We've talked about it before and we're like, sure. And so we needed a space to keep them. We purchased this in the fall on clearance from Tractor Supply. 
it has served us well, but we'll probably never purchase something like a prefab coupe like this ever again. No, I mean, never say never, but we have learned a lot as to what we need in this. It has worked, but it doesn't serve the way we keep chickens really all that well. No. So, anything to add? Uh, it was supposed to hold like 12 chickens. <laughs> And it would hold 12 chicks. Yeah. If I think it said 12... 12 to 24. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It was like way more than we feel is appropriate. So. Yeah. True story. True story. All right. Here. So I'm going to uh, try to record Luke bringing the door up and hooking it. And then we'll. I already did. Oh, you already did? Okay. Do you want to? Can you record me undoing it? Can you? Can we reenact it? We can. So here, this is what we'll do at night when we don't want them roosting over there, and then in the morning, cock a doodle do, filling up, and we'll hook that on the hook we hook up, put up there, and they have access to the nesting box. Ta-da! Ta-da! So we just use like a plastic crate um, is supposed to just help keep things cleaner. Um, also, it's supposed to help kind of control mites because they can't burrow into plastic where they can burrow into wood. So that's our kind of general plan. Um, this is typically what's in our, our nesting box for in here. And also when we have the chickens in the mobile coop during the summer, we use the same thing. I forgot to hit record when we put this in, but I intended to get the bigger shavings. I did not specify one of the bigger shavings, so uh, we may have to get a different bag, but this will probably fall through. Or you just put cardboard in the bottom and that keeps this from ciphering through the hole or going through the holes. But this is gonna go in here. Doing great, babe. Huh? Doing great, babe. I, you know, I try. So, clean nesting box for the chickens. Right there. And then we'll close them out of that at night so that they don't make a mess out of their nesting box. And cut. Here we have um, about well, that started as eight gallons of sap. Um, so that will make about, I'll be a little shy of a quart, right? Yeah, pint and a half. Pint and a half. So about three cups of syrup will be made. Um, our seedlings are doing reasonably well, I'll show you. Um, I planted our brassicas. I didn't record it. Sometimes we just need to do things without turning the camera on. So we've got cabbage up, nothing in the back yet. And this, these little guys right here are her um, chamomile. And actually, apparently, I got some in these pots as well. Um, the seeds for chamomile are crazy, crazy small. So this will be the first year I've grown it. I tried it last year, it failed. Um, didn't get it started early enough, didn't get it started inside, tried direct seeding it, that did not work. It came up and then quit. And in here, let me see, we've got um, inside the dome there, some broccoli and cauliflower up. And down here, our onions man, are doing very well. I do need to get some more of those going because we use a lot of onions. Um, I haven't successfully made our onions last the entire season yet, but got our first egg. So eggs are coming. Um, got a lot of seedlings up and harvest season is in full swing to some extent. And wound up dogs growling in the background. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you in a video sometime soon.